In this problem, we are trying to determine if we are to spin the spinner 16 times, how many times can we expect the spinner to land on each of the five given colors according to theoretical probability? Well, let's examine the green, yellow, and red sections because they are equal in size. We can clearly see that each of these three colors occupies one quarter of the space of the entire spinner. Therefore, the probability of each of these colors being landed on is one fourth, or one chance out of every four spins. Examining the white and the purple slices, we can see that each one of those occupies one eighth of the area of the spinner. So we would say the probability of those colors being landed on is one eighth each, or one out of every eight spins. All of the theoretical probabilities of which we just listed are expressed in lowest terms. We must convert each one of these fractions into 16 because we want to know how many spins out of 16. So all we have to do for green, yellow, and red is to convert the 4 into 16, and for white and purple we also have to convert the 8 into the 16. When doing this we can see that 1 fourth is equivalent to 4 sixteenths and that 1 eighth is equivalent to 2 sixteenths. The value of the fractions did not change. However, we expressed it in terms of 16 spins. So for green, yellow, and red, we could expect to land on each one of those colors 4 times out of 16. And for white and purple, we can expect to land on those colors 2 times out of 16. Now, that's only what we expect. If we actually spin the spinner 16 times, more than likely, we will not land on green, yellow, and red exactly 4 times and white and purple 2 times. That's why we have something called experimental probability. Experimental probability is determined by actually carrying out the action. So let's spin the spinner 16 times so we can determine what the experimental probability is and then compare it to what we expected. Now let's compare the experimental probability to the theoretical probability. For green, we see that it actually occurred one time less than what we expected. For yellow, we actually had it occur two more times than what we expected. We expected it four and we got it six. For red, we expected it four times, but it only occurred one time. For white, we expected it twice, but it happened double that, it happened four times. And for purple, we expected it twice according to theoretical probability, and it actually happened twice. So purple is the only color for the experimental that matched the theoretical. So remember, theoretical probability is probability based solely on the sample space shown without doing any action or collection of data. Whereas experimental probability is probability based on performing an action and collecting data.